Try planner is useful when the UV coordinate cannot be applied. For example, when you want to generate a mesh by code. Like this generated train here. You can see without using triplanner, its texture is stretched. And now if we use triplanner, this will be the result. But there is a big problem with triplanner, and that is it is so process costly. In this video, we are going to create a less process costly triplanner method, which sometimes you can use. So what is the problem with triplanner method? Let me explain how triplanner method works. This is a sphere and we don't have any UV coordinate for this sphere. So how we can put some texture on this sphere? Well, we don't have texture coordinate for this, but we have the texture position in the world. Now, if we use texture position in X, Y plane like this, and use that to put this texture on a sphere, this will be our result. As you can see, in some part of my mesh, everything is okay, but in some other part, texture has been stretched. That is because we used X, Y plane. Now, if we use Z, Y plane, this will be the result. Finally, if we use the X, Z plane, this will be our result. And now, if we combine all of these in a correct way, we have this texture, which is not stretched. This will work very good, but the problem here is that we should read from our texture three times. For example, if we have four texture, albedo texture, normal map, and roughness, and ambient occlusion, this will read 12 times instead of four times. And this is very process costly. Sometimes you have to use triplanar method, but sometimes you can avoid that and use this method which I explained in this video. Before that, let's take a look how you can use triplanner in Godot. Here I created a simple sphere with a standard material. Just go down here in a UV section and activate triplanner. And that is done. Now if you convert this to the shader material, in the shader code you can see here, for reading each texture, this use this triplanner texture function, and this is going to read from each texture three times. So in this video, instead of combining three textures together, we are going to use only one texture. Instead, we are going to combine the word position coordinate in XY, ZY, and XZ plane. This method has some drawback, but it is much more efficient. So let's get to it. This is a cube with a simple texture on it. For now, we use UV coordinate to put this texture on it. So now what we want to do is to draw this texture on this cube without UV coordinate. Let me change this texture to this so you can see this better. For now I just want to use local position of each point for this purpose. In fragment function there is an input which is called vertex. And this is the position of each pixel in view space. But we want the position of each pixel in local space. But in a vertex function, the vertex input is in local space. And the way we can transfer that to the fragment function is by varying. So I create a vector tree varying and I call it my pose. Then in vertex function, I just assign vertex to it. Now we can access my pose in fragment function. Now in fragment function here, instead of UV coordinate, I put my pose.xy. This will read from albedo texture in XY plane. But as you can see, my texture is stretched in other direction. Now if I change this to XZ, this will be our result. And this is the result for ZY. A lot of time when your mesh face in a certain direction, using only this as a texture coordinate is okay. Like when you have a train and your train is mostly flat. Okay, now how we can mix these together? Well, the best way is by using face normal. For example, this ZY plane that you can see here, its face normal is in X direction, and its normal in Z and Y direction is zero. So let's bring the normal in vertex function here because the normal in vertex function is also in local space. Well, now if I show you this normal by putting that inside albedo, it is like this. Now let's take a look at X component of this normal. So as you can see, the X component of the normal in this direction is one, but in other side of the cube, 
it is minus 1. So the way we can correct this is by taking the absolute value of the normal. Now this is white at both sides. So now let's mix between my pose dot x y and my pose dot z y based on our normal dot x. And as you can see, this will be shown in both direction. Now let's apply this to y direction. Well, this is working, but there is a problem. To show you this problem, let's see how this material will be applied on a sphere. And this is terrible. So what is the problem? Let's see normal.x on this sphere. As you can see, normal.x is changing between 0 and 1. And this is going to mix between my pose.xy and my pose.zy. Well, we cannot do that. We should use xy plane or zy plane. There is nothing between these two. So here to make this correct, just round my normal dot x. And as you can see, we have zero or one and nothing between. So let's correct this. Well, now everything is working. But as you can see, there is no fading between these textures. And this is the only drawback of this method compared to original triplanar method. Besides that, this method will work perfectly on meshes like cube. To show you that, instead of local position, I will use word position. And to do that, in vertex function, I just transform this in word position. Now they are in word position. If you don't know how this thing works, don't worry about this. You can just copy my code right now. And I have a plan to make a video about this kind of mass stuff in future. And at the time you are watching this video, maybe I already made. So check the video description for that. There is another thing, which is the texture here is upside down. You can correct this easily by just multiplying the Y component of my post to minus one. The other thing is that the texture at other side of this cube is flipped horizontally. Most of the time this does not matter, but if you want you can also correct this by doing some calculation on my pose based on normal. And I leave this to you. I hope you like this video. Until the next video. Bye.